This week's boiler tip, we're gonna talk about check valves. Check valves are an important part of our feed water system. Basically, our check valve prevents the high pressure water in the boiler from backing into our feed system when the pump shuts off or if we have uh, low makeup demand. In the good old days, we would test this by closing this manual valve, breaking this union, and then reopening this valve. If the check valve bled through, we would have steam and hot water come out the union. So obviously we see where that's not something that we would want to do nowadays. But thanks to modern technology, we've got a much simpler, faster, easier way to do it. And the reason that we can test this with a temperature gun is because the water in the boiler at the higher pressure and operating conditions is going to be a lot hotter than the feed water. On a typical DA fed system, we could have a feed water temperature of 225 degrees, but the water in the boiler at 100 PSI will be 338 degrees. So all we have to do to check this check valve is turn the pump off. If we turn the pump off, take a reading upstream and downstream of the check valve. The temperature upstream is going to quickly rise to 338 degrees to match the temperature and pressure in the boiler. The water on the inlet to the check valve should stay at 225 degrees. But if we get a sudden increase of temperature, on the inlet of the check valve, that's going to tell us that our check valve is bleeding through. And why is that important? It's important because if that superheated water makes it all the way back to our pump, we're going to have cavitation and, and other issues when we need to add water again.